ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय वेलकम टू टुडे रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्री चैतन्य चरितमृत आदि लीला चैप्टर 13 वर्स 79 ऑनवर्ड्स विल बी रीडिंग टुडे मुकम करोति वाचलम पंगुम लंगायते गिरम यत कृपा तम हम वंदे श्री गुरुम दीन तारिणम परमानंद माधवन श्री चैतन्येश्वरम हरिओम पुत्र पान दंपति हाइला आनंदित मन विशेष सेवन करे गोविंद चरण द हजब वाई जगन्नाथ मिश्रा एंड शचि माता हैविंग गॉटन विश्वरूप एज देर सन व वेरी प्लीज विद इन देर माइंड बिकॉज ऑफ देर प्लेजर दे स्पेसिफिकली बिगैन टू सर्व द लोटस फीट ऑफ गोविंदा पर्पोट देर इज अ कॉमन सेंग इन इंडिया दैट एवरी वन गोज टू वर्शिप द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेट वेन ही इज इन डिस्ट्रेस But when a person is in opulent position, he forgets God. In the Bhagavad Gita, seven point sixteen, this is confirmed. Chatur vidha bhajante mam, jana sukritino arjuna, arto jigyasur arthati, jani cha bharatar shubha. If backed by pious activities in the past, four kinds of men, namely those who are distressed, those in need of money. those searching after knowledge and those who are inquisitive become interested in devotional service the husband and wife jagannath mishra and sachi mata were very unhappy because their eight daughters had passed away now when they got vishwaroop as their son certainly they became extremely happy they knew that it was by the grace of the lord that they were endowed with such happiness and opulence therefore instead of forgetting the lord they became more and more adherent in rendering service to the lotus feet of govinda when a common man becomes opulent he forgets god but the more opulent a devotee becomes by the grace of the lord the more he becomes attached to the service of the lord verse 80 14 shat chhaya shake shesha magh mase jagannath shachira dehe krishnera Pravesh. In the month of January, in the year fourteen o six of the Shaka era, A.D. fourteen eighty five, Lord Krishna entered the bodies of both Jagannath Mishra and Shachi. Purport: Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took his birth in the year fourteen o seven, Shaka era, A.D. fourteen eighty six, in the month of Phagun. But here we see that he entered the bodies of his parents in the year fourteen zero six in the month of March. Therefore, Lord entered the bodies of his parents thirteen full months before his birth. Generally, a common child remains within the womb of his mother for ten lunar months. But here we see that Lord remained within the body of his mother for thirteen months. Verse number eighty one. Mishra kahe shachi sthane dekhi anarita. आनरीत ज्योतिर्मय देह गेह लक्ष्मी अधिष्ठित जगन्नाथ मिश्रा सेट टू शची माता आई सी वंडरफुल थिंग्स योर बॉडी इज इफॉल्जन एंड अपीयर्स एंड इट अपीयर्स एज इफ द गॉडेस ऑफ फॉर्चून वर नाउ स्टेइंग पर्सनली इन माय होम वर्स 82 यहां तहां सर्व लोक करे सम्मान घरे पठाइया दया दान धन वस्त्र दान Anywhere and everywhere I go, all people offer me respect. Even without my asking, they voluntarily give me riches, clothes, and paddy. Purport: A Brahman does not become anyone's servant. To render service to someone else is the business of the shudras. A Brahman is always independent, because he is a teacher, spiritual master, and advisor and advisor to society. The members of the society provide him. with all the necessities of life in the bhagavad gita the lord says he has divided society into four divisions brahmana kshatriya vaishya and shudra a society cannot run smoothly without this scientific division a brahman should give good advice to all the members of society a kshatriya should look after the administration maintaining law and order in society vaishyas should produce and trade to meet all the needs of society whereas shudra should render service to the higher sections of society the brahmanas kshatriyas and vaishyas jagannath mishra was a brahman therefore people would send him all bodily necessities money cloth grain and so on while lord chaitanya was in the womb of shachi mata jagannath mishra received all these necessities of life without asking for them because of the presence of the lord in his family everyone offered him due respect as a brahman 
In other words, if a Brahman or Vaishnav sticks to his position as an eternal servant of the Lord and executes the will of the Lord, there is no question of scarcity for his personal maintenance or the needs of his family. Verse number 83 Shachi kahe muni dekho akash upare divya murti lok sabha yena stuti kare. Shachi Mata told her husband, I see wonderfully brilliant human beings appearing in outer space as if offering prayers. Purport, Jagannath Mishra was honoured by everyone on the earth and was supplied with all necessities. Similarly, Mother Shachi saw many demigods in outer space offering prayers to her because of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's presence in his, in her womb. Verse 84, Jagannath Mishra kahe, Swapne ye dekhila, Jyotirmay dham mura ridaye vashila. Jagannath Mishra then replied, In a dream I saw the effulgent body abode of the Lord enter my heart. Verse 85 Amar Ridaya Haite Gela Tumar Ridaye Hena Bhuji Janmi Bena Kona Mahashaya From my heart it entered your heart. I therefore understand that a great personality will soon take birth. Verse 86 Eta Bali Dunhe Rahe Harshita Hana Shalagram Seva Kare Vishesh Kariya. After his this conversation, both husband and wife were very jubilant and did together rendered service to the household Shalagram Shila. Purport, especially in every Brahman's house, there must be a Shalagram Shila to be worshipped by the Brahman family. This system is still current. People who are Brahmins by caste who are born in Brahman family must worship the Shalagram Shila. Unfortunately, by the with the progress of Kali Yuga, the so-called Brahmanas, although very pride, proud of taking birth in Brahman families, no longer worship the Shalagram Shila, but actually it has been a custom since time immemorial that a person born in a Brahman family must worship the Shalagram Shila in all circumstances. In our Krishna consciousness society, some of the members are very anxious to introduce worship of the Shalagram Shila, but we have purposely refrained from introducing it because most of the members of Krishna consciousness movement do not originally come from the families of the Brahman caste. After some time when we find that they are actually situated strictly in the line of Brahminical behavior, Shalagram Shila worship will be introduced. In this age, the worship of Shalagram Shila is not important as a chanting of the holy name of Lord. That is the injunction of the Shastra. Harer Naam, Harer Naam, Harer Naam Eva Kevalam, Kalau Nasti Eva Nasti Eva Nasti Eva Gatir Anyatha. Srila Jeev Goswami's opinion is that by chanting the holy name offenselessly, one becomes com completely perfect. Nevertheless, just to purify the situation of mind, worship of the deity in the temple is also necessary. Therefore, when one is advanced in spiritual consciousness or is perfectly situated on a spiritual platform, he may take to the worship of the Shalagram Shila. The transference of the Lord from the heart of Jagannath Mishra to the heart of Shachi Mata is explained by Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur as follows. It is to be concluded that Jagannath Mishra and Shachi Mata are Nitya Siddhas, ever pure associates of the Lord. Their hearts are always uncontaminated and therefore they never forget the Supreme Personality of Godhead. A common man in this material world has a contaminated heart. He must therefore first purify his heart to come to the transcendental position. But Jagannath Mishra and Shachi Mata were not a common man and woman with contaminated hearts. When the heart is uncontaminated, it is said to be in the existential position of Vasudev. Vasudev can be get Vasu Vasudev or Krishna who is transcendentally situated. It is to be understood that Shachi Devi did not become pregnant as an ordinary woman becomes pregnant because of sense indulgence. One should not think the pregnancy of Shachi Mata to be that of an ordinary woman because that is an offense. One can understand the pregnancy of Shachi Mata when one is actually advanced in spiritual consciousness and fully engaged in the devotional service of the Lord. In Srimad Bhagavatam 10.2.16, it is stated, Bhagwan Api Vishwatma Bhakta Nam Abhayan Karaha Avishe Shamsha Bhagena Mana Anaka Kundubehe. This is a statement regarding the 
birth of Lord Krishna, the incarnation of the Lord entered the mind of Vasudev and when was then transferred to the mind of Devaki. Srila Sridhar Goswami, Swami gives the following annotation in this connection. Mana avi vesha manasi avil bhuvaha bhuva jiva naam eva na dhatu sambandh iti artha. There was no question of the seminal discharge necessary for the birth of an ordinary human being. Srila Rupa Goswami also comments in this connection that Lord Krishna first appeared in the mind of Anka Dundudhi Vasudev and was then transferred to the mind of Devaki Devi. Thus the spiritual bliss in the mind of Devaki Devi gradually increased just as the moon increases every night until it becomes a full moon. At the same time of his appearance, Lord Krishna came out of the mind of Devaki and appeared within the prison house of Kamsa by the side of Devaki's bed. At that time, by the spell of Yogamaya, Devaki thought that her child had now been born. In this connection, even the demigods from the celestial kingdom were also bewildered, as it is stated, Muyanti Yat Suryaha. This is from Bhagavatam 1.1.1. They came to offer their prayers to Devaki, thinking that the Supreme Lord was within her womb. The demigods came from came to Mathura from their celestial kingdom. This indicates that Mathura is still more important than the celestial kingdom of the upper planetary system. Lord Krishna as the eternal son of Yashodamai is always present in Vrindavan. The pastimes of Lord Krishna are continuously going on within both this material world and the spiritual world. In such pastimes, the Lord always thinks Himself, the eternal son of Mother Yashoda and Father Nanda Maharaj, in the 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, chapter 6, verse 43, it is stated, When magnanimous, broad-hearted Nanda Maharaj came back from a tour, he immediately took his son Krishna on his lap and experienced transcendental bliss by smelling his head. Similarly, in the 10th canto, 9th chapter, verse 21, it is said, This personality of Godhead, appearing as the son of a cowherd damsel, is easily available and understandable to devotees, whereas those who are under the concept of bodily life, even though they are very much advanced in austerity and penance, or even though they are great philosophers, are unable to understand him. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur next quotes Sripad Baldev Vidya Bhushan, who refers to the prayers offered by the demigods to Lord Krishna in the womb of Devaki and summarizes the birth of Krishna as follows. As the rising moon manifests light in the east, so Devaki, who was always situated on the transcendental platform, having been initiated in the Krishna mantra by Vasudev, the son of Surasen, kept Krishna within her heart. From this statement of Srimad Bhagavatam 10.2.18, it is understood that the Supreme Personality of Godhead, having been transferred from the heart of Anka Dundudhi or Vasudev, manifested himself in the heart of Devaki. According to Srila Baldev Vidya Bhushan, the heart of Devaki means the womb of Devaki because in Srimad Bhagavatam 10.2.41, the demigods say, Dishtyamba te kukshi gataha paraha puman. Mother Devaki, the Lord, the Lord is already within your womb, therefore, that the Lord was transferred from the heart of Vasudev to the heart of Devaki means that, uh, that he was transferred to the heart, womb of Devaki. Similarly, in regard to the appearance of Lord Chaitanya, Mahaprabhu, as described in Chaitanya Charitamrit, the words Visheshe Sevana Kare Govinda Charan, they specifically began to worship the lotus feet of Govinda, indicate that exactly as Krishna appeared in the heart of Devaki through the heart of Vasudev, so Lord Chaitanya appeared in the heart of Shachi Devi through the heart of Jagannath Mishra. This is the mystery of the appearance of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Consequently, one should not think of Lord Chaitanya's appearance as that of a common man or living entity. This subject matter is little difficult to understand, but for devotees of the Lord, it will not be all difficult to realize the statements given by Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami. Verse 87 Haite Haite Haila Garba Trayoda Shamasa Tathapi Bhumishta Nahe Mishrera Haila Pras. In this way, the pregnancy approached its 13th month, but still there was no sign of the delivery of the child. Thus, Jagannath Mishra became greatly apprehensive. Verse number 88. 
लीलाम्बर चक्रवर्ती कहिला गानिया गनिया ए मासे पुत्र हबे शुभ क्षण पाना लीलाम्बर चक्रवर्ती द ग्रैंड फादर ऑफ श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु देन डिड एन एस्ट्रोलॉजिकल कैलकुलेशन एंड सेड दैट इन दैट वेरी मंथ हैविंग टेकिंग एडवांटेज ऑफ एन ऑस्पिशियस मोमेंट द चाइल्ड वुड टेक बर्थ वर्स 89 चौदह शत सात शके मास ये फाल्गुन पौर्णा मा सिरा संध्या काले हैला शुभ क्षण दस इन दर फोर्टीन ओ सेवन ऑफ द शक एरा एडी फोर्टीन एटी सिक्स इन द मंथ ऑफ फाल्गुन विच इज फेवरी स्ट्रोक मार्च इन द इवनिंग ऑफ द फुल मून डे द डिजायर ऑस्पेशियस मोमेंट अराइव पर्पुर शिला भक्त ठाकुर इन इज अमृत प्रवाह भाष्य हैज प्रजेंटेड द हॉरोस्कोप ऑफ चैतन्य महाप्रभु एज फॉलोज शक फोर्टीन ओ सेवन टेन स्ट्रोक टेन स्ट्रोक ट्वेंटी टू स्ट्रोक ट्वेंटी एट स्ट्रोक फोर्टी फाइव डिडम एंड देन द हॉरोस्कोप इज शोन लाइक शोइंग इन बिच हाउस बिच ग्रह इज दैट कैन ऑफ यू नो फोर बाय थ्री फोर बाय थ्री एस द कॉलम्स आर मेड इन द हॉरोस्कोप The explanation of the horoscope given by the by Bhakti Vinod Thakur is that at the time of birth of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the planets were situated as follows: Shukra Venus was in Mesh Rashi, Aries, and the Nakshatra lunar mansion of Ashwini. Ketu in the ninth planet was in Simrashi, Leo, and Uttar Falguni. Chandra the moon was in Puru Falguni, the eleventh lunar mansion. Shani the Saturn was in Vrishchik Rashi that is Scorpio and Jeshta Braspati that is Jupiter was in Dhanu Rashi that is Sagittarius and Purva Shard Mangala Mars was in the Makar Rashi that which is Capricorn and Shravana Ravi the Sun was in Kumbh Rashi this is Aquarius and Purva Bhadrapada Rahu was in Purva Bhadrapada and Buddha the Mercury was in Meen Rashi that is Pisces and uttara bhadrapada the lagna was simha verse 90 simha rashi sim lagna uch grah gan shad varg asht varg sarva sulakshan according to the jyotir ved or vedic astrology the auspicious birth moment is described as follows the moon was in leo the figure of the lion in the zodiac leo was the ascendant several planets were strongly positioned and the shad वर्ग एंड अष्ट वर्ग शोड ऑल ऑस्पेशियस इन्फ्लुएंस पर्पुर शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती ठाकुर हु वॉज प्रीवियसली अ ग्रेट एस्ट्रोलॉजर एक्सप्लेन्स दिस वर्स एज फॉलोज द सिक्स वर्ग दैट इज द षड वर्ग सिक्स डिविजन आर टेक्निकली कॉल्ड क्षेत्र होरा द्रेकान नवांश द्वादशांश एंड त्रिंसांश अकॉर्डिंग टू द ज्योतिर्वेदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी When the relationship between the planets and the rulers of these six divisions is determined, the auspiciousness of the moment of birth can be calculated. In the book named Braj Jatak and other books, there are directions for interpreting the movements of the stars and planets. One who knows the process of calculating the Ashtavarg, that is, the eight divisions, can predict auspicious and inauspicious events. This science is known specially by persons. who are called hora shastra vid or those who know the astrological scriptures on the strength of astrological calculations from the hora scriptures nilambar chakravarti the grandfather of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu had ascertained the auspicious moment when lord would appear so we will continue our reading from here on let's next time thank you for joining hari om tat sat hari krishna